Ms. H here. I want to name this molecule for you. The first thing you'll notice is that a big difference between this molecule and the one you see on your page is on your page, all of the H's have been drawn in. On this one, I haven't drawn in the H's. I've just left these little sticks. Each one of those sticks represents that there is an H bonded there. For the molecule to be properly drawn, though, there have to be the right number of sticks coming off of each carbon. The next thing I want to do is I want to count the number of carbons in a continuous chain. So I could do that in a couple different ways. I could say one, two, three, four, five, and get five. Or I could have said one, two, three, four. Or I could count from this end, one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four. Five is the longest number that I have. Since I have five continuous carbons, I'm going to call this pent. And then I'm going to look to see if there are any double bonds, and there aren't, so this is pentane. But I have these two regions here where I've got something going on. What I have is I have a single carbon. A single carbon gets the group name of methyl. The meth signifies that it's one carbon, and the ill tells me that it's a side chain. It is something coming off of the main chain. It's not enough just to say that I have methyl pentane. I have to tell you where that methyl pentane is. So looking at this molecule, I can see that both of these methyl groups are attached to carbon 3. So each of these carbons is on carbon 3, and because there are two of them, I will call it di. So now I have 3,3-dimethylpentane which actually means that there are two methyl groups each attached to carbon 3.